the Salesians of Don Bosco in Chelsea. Guiding the young to Christ in the footsteps of Don Bosco. This is take three. I'm Father Andrew. I'm the rector here at Chertsey of the Salesian community. I get a thousand years off purgatory for that, but my community get two thousand years of purgatory for having to put up with me. I teach at our Salesian school here in Chertsey and I teach RE. I also am heavily involved in a fundraising for Don Bosco Ashalayam, which is a street children project run by the Salesians in Calcutta and each year I try and take a small group of six formers out just to see the work of the Salesians out there. Uh, so basically we're three students from Salesian in Chertsey and we were lucky enough to get the opportunity to go to Kolkata in India to see the Salesian work they do out there um, for Salesian Ashlaya. I think one of the things that hits you the most is you go out there and kind of the sense of community is really prevalent, it's really easy to see because when you get there everyone comes up to you and greets you, gives you a really really warm welcome and it's just really nice because you're on the other side of the world basically and you think oh, I, might, I might find it difficult to actually get to know people who fit in but it's actually really easy because it's a worldwide community so everyone kind of feels like they're together in the same sort of thing. The Salesians of Don Bosco in Chelsea. I think the most important thing in Salesian is uh, the young people because we must be focused on them and I think in this world they must feel that somebody in this world they still care about them and I think they need to think that somebody, uh, somebody is in this world who, who wants sacrifice uh, his life for them. Hi there, my name is Father Marco Villani and I'm a Salesian priest and I'm the chaplain at Salesian School Chertsey. I believe that the role of the chaplain is to promote and deepen the spiritual life and ethos of any school. I'm also really interested in fair trade. We have got fair trade status for our school. We are now a fair aware school and we're working to the next level of fair trade status. And also I'm really happy to have a justice and peace group as part of sixth form enrichment, because I think as a Catholic Christian, everybody should be involved in matters of justice and peace. I am Father Cyril working at Salesian School Chelsea. I work as an assistant chaplain in the school and also helping out in the RE department. I work here from Monday to Friday and I accompany the students in their spiritual journey by celebrating the Holy Mass, hearing their confessions, organizing the Thaise prayer, organizing Eucharistic adoration and other spiritual activities in the school. And in the weekends, I help out in the Sierra Malabar community in Arundel and Brighton Diocese. And in keeping with the, uh, the apostle, Apostolate of St. John Bosco, I work with the young people. We have regular youth meetings and young people come together, they discuss events, they come together to pray. They also have their Bible conventions and uh, it's a joy to be with the young people and working with the young people. I think Don Bosco um, has shown good qualities that we can all take on board. Um, I like Don Bosco because he was relentlessly being kind to people and didn't care what anybody else thought about the kids that he had taken under his wing. This, he was living proof that if you don't give up with what you want to do then you're going to be able to achieve it. Um, I really liked Don Bosco because of how clever he was and how quick he was to answer that to people and he saved a lot of people's lives by having that personality. The thing I most like about Salesians is they can always forgive you. Don Bosco used to say that you had to learn to love young people 
and in this context university students it's important that they feel supported, they're encouraged, but above all that they're understood. And I think part of the educational part of being a chaplain is to really help people to understand themselves and to understand each other. And that you know, presents its challenges, but also offers immense areas for development and understanding. Welcome to the parish of St Anne's in Chertsey. It was established in the early 1920s and now has a thriving um, set of parishioners of all ages and nationalities who try to present the face of Christ to the local community. And that's it, you've seen our community at Chertsey except for Father Michael, he's camera shy so Father Marco introduced the parish for him. Father Hugh is not well but has spent his whole life doing good for young people. You might wonder why I'm standing here like an Egypt with a board in my hand. Well, it's to show you this year marks 200 years since the birth of Don Bosco. And his work continues uh, for the young through us in their journey towards God. If you'd like to find out more about us and what we do, do look us up on Facebook. Salutions of Don Bosco at Chertsey. <laughs> Don Bosco is a cool guy. 